the rules of double entry accounting. Every student needs to know how to record into the ledger accounts using double entry accounting rules. Asset accounts, light blue in this example. The double entry rule is opening balances on the debit side, increases in asset accounts, debit side. Expenses such as wages, cost of sales, rent, etc. Double entry rules, increase in expense accounts shown by a debit entry. Drawings. Double entry accounting rule says to increase drawings, debit entry. Over here to capital. Double entry accounting rules say the opening balance will be on the credit side and anything that which increases the value of capital, credit side. Liability accounts such as creditors control, GST clearing, loan accounts. Double entry accounting rules say the opening balance will be on the credit side and anything which increases the value of the liability will be a credit entry. Revenue accounts, the primary one is sales. Double entry accounting rules say to increase revenue or sales in this case, credit entry. Notice how these accounts are grouped on the screen. On the left hand side are assets, expenses and drawings because in each of those three types of ledger accounts increases are shown by debits. Some students find that useful to help them remember the double entry accounting rules. Look on the right hand side of the screen, capital, liability accounts and sales. To show an increase in any of those three accounts, we have credit entries. So some students like to group the ledger accounts as they appear on the screen now to help them remember the double entry accounting rules. It's a method that's been successful in the past. However, there are other ways to remember double entry rules. One of those methods is to think about a balance sheet. Normally assets are on the left hand side and normally equities are on the right hand side. Assets are shown by uh, debit entry increases and equity accounts are the reverse. Increases are shown by credit entries. So the rules for assets are the reverse of the rules for liabilities and capital or equities. Think about the balance sheet. Assets have opposite rules to the equity accounts. And what about uh, revenue and expenses? We should know that revenue works to increase owner's equity. Thus, the double entry rules apply the same way to sales as they do to capital. To increase sales, it's a credit entry, just like an increase in capital is a credit entry. What about expenses and drawings? We should know that expenses and drawings work to decrease owner's equity. So they will have the opposite rules to capital. So to show an increase in expenses, debit entry. To show an increase in drawings, debit entry. The reverse of the rules to capital to show increases. So some students find that useful. So whether it's this method on the screen now, that is the six accounts, six types of accounts grouped together, showing uh, those accounts that are increased by debits on the left and those that are shown by uh, increases by credit entries on the right, or whether it's this method which applies to the balance sheet, assets having the absolute reverse rules to equity accounts, liabilities and capital, and then remembering that sales increases capital, so it'll have the same rules, and remembering that expenses and drawings reduces capital, so it'll have the reverse rules to capital, whether you use that method, or that method on the screen there, or any other method, you have to know the double entry accounting rules. And finally, let's have a think about balances at the start of the reporting period. Only assets, liabilities, and capital have opening balances in the ledger accounts. It's, the way to remember this is that does the item, does that type of item appear in the balance sheet? If the answer is yes, it can have an opening balance. Assets appear in the balance sheet, so it has opening balances. Liabilities appear in the balance sheet, it has opening balances. Owner's equity, and we use the capital account for the owner, it has an opening balance, it appears in the balance sheet. The exception is drawings. We know that drawings does appear in the balance sheet. It's a negative owner's equity account in the balance sheet, but it does not have an opening balance.